Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out the 10 codes list script. Um, this is pretty much um, a key binding type um, UI that when you press a key bind set in your 5M settings menu, um, it will open up the 10 codes list um, so your um, players on your server can kind of understand what they actually are if they don't have them memorized, stuff like that. Um, one thing I did want to mention before this video begins, we are 100 subscribers away from 9,000, so it would be amazing if you could subscribe. And I've also tried to fix the noise in the background of my videos, which was an air conditioner. I've turned it off for the times of doing videos now. Hopefully it sounds a little better. Let me know down in the comments. Anyway, let's get straight into this one. So in order to download and install, you're going to either go to the GitHub link directly, which I'll leave down in the description, or you can go to the resource page and click the GitHub link. Pretty easy to do. Then all you have to do is click the big green code button and click download as a zip file. Open this up with WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever you use to open up your uh, files. And then you're going to navigate to wherever your server folder is. This is a server-side script, so don't try to install this on the client side. Um, the server owner will have to install it. And with installing this server-side um, script, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your resources folder. So for me, it's in my server data resources folder. If you're on TX Admin, it's in your TX data folder most likely. And if you're on Zap Hosting, they'll provide you an FTP file access to go ahead and upload these types of files. Inside of this, you see you have the HTML folder, the client.lula, the fxmanifest.lula. Don't have to worry about any of this. Just drag this into your resources folder overall. And then you can see there is the 10 codes and we're just going to go ahead and rename the folder get rid of that dash main that github adds and then i'm just going to keep it easy and copy the folder name which is 10 codes and then i'm going to go to my server.cfg file and edit it with notepad or notepad plus plus and then when you are in here you're just going to add ensure or start depending on what you have here the name of the folder in this case it is 10 codes so i'll go ahead and enter that and save it now if we go ahead and start our server the way to see if everything started up correctly is taking a look at this console log when you're looking at this console log as long as you don't see any errors and you see started resource the name of the folder you know you are probably good to go there could always be errors in game but you should be good to go there we go started resource 10 codes so now we're going to hop in game we'll check out the settings menu see what our um, key binding is and then try opening it all right, so we are in game here, and you can see that our uh, default open menu button is down arrow, and then it is um, to the left and right arrow to go through the pages. So if we exit out of our settings menu, click down arrow, there is our 10 codes page, and if I go ahead and go to either page 3 or page 1 using left and right, there are all of the 10 codes. So it's pretty cool to see, you can see all of them here, and um, yeah. It's a pretty cool resource, so make sure to check this out if you are looking for something like this to help your police officers on your server or whatever. And um, if you have any suggestions for resources, leave them down in the comments below. Anyway, have a great rest of your day, everyone, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.